See you guys. That. Cassie found something here. It's the size of a nickel. A buffalo nickel. Give me the buffalo juice. Oh, I got to keep digging some more here. Let's see what else we can get. I found myself a bucket lister. I got a crotal bell. It's a weedy. You found a weedy? Yes. Sweet. Walking Liberty 1943 half dollar. Oh my god, it's freaking gorgeous. Indian. You got an Indian? Oh my god, Cassie got an IHP. Needless to say, I am a happy camper. Good morning. Um, it is morning. It is 7.43 a.m. on a Saturday morning. And I am at a new location. I'm at a field area just a block away from a school I've been detecting used to be an old well site for the city it's city owned <sighs> I haven't been here long 15 minutes and the place is extremely trashy it feels more like a dump site than anything first thing I found that isn't total trash is the hood to a toy car looks fairly modern I'll take it and look at it a little bit later but so far Oh, I'm going to give this place a while. It's a big area, so I'm going to go over all parts of it and see if there's any hot spots or anything. But right now, the area that I'm in is just garbage. So, yeah, sometimes it's like that. You don't know what an area is like until you go out and explore it. So, get out and explore. See you soon. This is an interesting little find. It was just an inch or so deep. Looks like it has got quite some age to it. Thought it was a button at first. Looks to be part of a snap of some sort. Oops, just dropped it. Um, see if we can zoom in a little bit. I don't know. I can't read that right now. We'll get it in some better light. Well, actually, let me set that right there. I do have a flashlight with me. I don't know if that's any better necessarily, but interesting find. I'll take that and we'll look at it closer later, but that's pretty cool. Alright, another very shallow, unknown item. Very soft. This has got writing on it. Let's see if we can figure out what it says. Getting my fingernails all gummed up. Um, something Marvel. I don't know. I think this like might be a measuring cup or measuring spoon of some sort. Um, we'll take it home and clean it up a little bit better and look at it there. But uh, nothing horribly old. Interesting, but not old. Alright, I'm going to see if I can wait until I get home to see what this is a little bit better. Um, I thought it was like uh, metal on the outside and central part that was um, hollow. So I tried to push the dirt out, but the outside is a rubber ring with something inside. So I'm just going to let it stay together until I can get home and clean it up and take a look at it. Um, weird, weird find. Okay, let's keep going. I just found a quarter like 10 feet that way. Nothing special, but, you know, it paid for a fraction of the gas to get here. And I got a mosquito bite. Then a good bar part of the periphery of the area here. Not huge amount. It is rather annoying right now because there's no wind, super high humidity. The dew point is super high. There's like a light haze over the ground. Finding a lot of junk. Did find a 1942 Canadian penny though. So there's something. 
my previous find was a um, piece of car trim and you can see maybe I can barely see the camera right now because my glasses are so fogged up this this is annoying let's keep moving all right we uh, abandoned the trash pit uh, I mean the field <laughs> we're over at the uh, school um, apparently new video from somebody um, this was coming in like uh, 16 or 17 I uh, thought it was just going to be a pull tab or something, but it is not. I don't know what the heck that is. Uh, I can't tell. It almost looks like a squished penny, doesn't it? It's got an edge. Let me uh, clean this up just a hair and see what I can find. I'm just not getting a lot in the way of details off of this. There's, I don't see anything there. But it looks zinc. It looks like a, I mean, it looks like an oblong, semi-squished, chewed up zinc penny. I'll see if I can look closer when I get home and find some more details. But man, it is ate up. Interesting. It rang up so low, too. My pin pointer is buried. And right down in there, I got this. My first tweet scent for the day, a 37. Once I clean it up, it looks to be in decent shape. We'll take it. I uh, was hoping for some silver today. No luck so far, but you know. And I don't have but maybe another hour, hour and a half tops. Uh, but you know, so far so good. 30 feet later, I got myself another wheat scent. And I think this is a 1930s era as well. Yeah, 33. Looks to be in good shape, and that's that's a deep hole as well. So it was down their way, so. I'm identifying sections of the field that I'm in here that are pretty good, and there's a middle strip that seems to be more productive than others. So, but I'm gonna keep, you know, checking it out and seeing what I can find. This is nice, I'll take this, that's for sure. Well, I just had a very deep hole with a very faint signal. And I come up with this. Um, it looks like it's going to be a button of some sort. Maybe? Let me clean it up just a hair, see what we got. Well, there's some sort of a patterns on the on the front. I'll have to clean it up just a bit more when I get home. It is an older button, but a older version of a modern style button. So I think this might be closer to like 1900. Interesting find. It's way down there. I can't believe I picked this thing up. I mean, it was literally eight inches down. I, I don't know if I was hitting on something else in the hole. I'll have to check. But I came away with this either way. So I'll take that. I have to say, this is highly unusual. I found another... Oops, almost lost it there. Uh, 20 feet away, I found another small button like that. Uh, slightly different style. Different direct decorations on the front. Almost identical size, though. Um... And it was deep too. There's my hole. You know, there's my hand. And it was, you know, from right where my wrist bends there, where all the wrinkles are, up to my fingertips. So it's about six or seven inches, probably seven inches. Um, and wow. Must be button day at the gym. We'll take it though. I like that. Don't find a whole lot of buttons. I want to find a tomback though. Never found a tomback. That's like a huge bucket list item for me. Okay, something weird's definitely going on. 10 to 15 feet from where I was last. And here is another button. This one has fabric still in it too. Check that out. What's going on with the buttons today? I never find this many buttons. This is way cool. Man, ooh, and every single one of them, I think, is trying to get away from me, too. Am I that repugnant? 
Don't answer that, please. <laughs> I'm getting older, I know. Uh, anywho, let's keep going. I'm, I'm enjoying this. Alright, I got myself a fairly deep uh, third wheat penny here. See, see the back of it there. That looks nice. See if we can get a date right here. It's a 40 something, 44. We'll take it, nothing special, but we'll take it. All right, right here was a signal, got in my hand. Right there was where my last plug was, where I got that wheat scent. I was hoping we had a wheat scent spill, but doggone it, we just got a dime. Not, and, and even worse, it's a 67, so it was almost silver, but not quite. Doggone it, missed it by three years. That's the way it is sometimes. Well guys, I think I can go home happy today. Well, I would have gone home happy anyways, but silver happy, silver smile. I just got one. It was deep, just like those wheat scents. Think it might be a Merc, let's find out. I threw it down right on the top here. It came out of the bottom actually, and I pitched the dirt out to see if I could see anything. And that's what I saw. And doggone it, it's going to be a rosy. It's going to be a 46 rosy. That's a first year rosy, isn't it? They went 46 to 64, I believe. You know, we will take a rosy though. It's silver. Alright, I'm on my last official pass of the day. And down where that little notch is there, where I took my shovel and cut it out, I got a wheat penny. You can barely see the back. Looks like a wheat. The front's a little bit better. It's a 27 or a 37, one of those two. 27, I believe. So, nice, not bad. I'm on, did I just say I'm on my last official pass? I don't know, I'm getting thirsty. <laughs> my brain is not working good. So uh, let's finish this up and get out of the heat and uh, see what we can find on the way back. Okay, this is a little bit interesting. I found part of a ring. This little center section here come off. I don't know if it was just glued on or what, but I think I might have part of a silver ring. I think if I look careful in there, it's upside down and not in focus. But oh, I'll show you when I get home, but I think right on the inside of that piece of band right there is the last part of sterling. So we'll check it when we get home, but interesting find. I'm almost done too. I guess one more wheat scent had to be found today. I'm literally on my way steps away from the uh, exit and I got myself a 1939 wheat scent. So we'll take that. I think it's five for the day so far. So I've been here, it's 1041. I got here about 720-ish. So whatever that is, uh, three and a half hours, something like that. And just like that, we are done. Um, it's a couple of days later. I've got my stuff spread out in front of me here. And it was an interesting um, interesting outing. The um, one field that I went to that I had high hopes for, possibly, was just super trashy. And you got to expect things like that, I suppose. It's in an area that was, um, I think it's a city wellhead or something like that. And any kind, anytime you get around areas like that, it's just going to be garbage. I may go back there again and just kind of try to pick through because I did find some interesting things. But um, again, it's, it's garbage stuff and I don't want to spend a huge amount of time on that. I want to kind of classify it and see what we can find, though, what kind of stuff it is. So that might help me determine whether I want to continue on in that area or not. Probably not too much. It's just curiosity at this point. So all in all, not a bad outing, though. Um, I'll show you what I got and go from there. I think I was out a total of about three and a half, close to four hours. We'll just say four hours. So about a half a day. Not too bad. So, here's what we came away with for our half a day, if my cat would stop rubbing up against my phone. 
She's in a mood this morning, aren't you, little girly? Yes, you are. Now I can just scram and get off my stuff. <laughs> okay. Come on, over here. Over here. Yes, there you go. Backside, too. Come on, move that back. Move the butt. My cat is trying to steal the show. So, anywho, let's get the butt, butt off of the thing. There you go. Um, that's what we got. Got some clad, got some zinc pennies, that thing that was encrusted with rubber around it, that's what that is. Uh, still don't know for sure what it is, like a snap insert of some sort. Just some junk items that sounded good. Um, light bulb base, have no idea what this actually is. From a toy of some sort, possibly a toy gun or something like that, I'm not sure. Those are the ends to those old really big industrial stuff um glass fuses um those are always cool because that's like that's like your old school industrial stuff they always think like frankenstein's monster when i see that stuff the hood from an uh little mattel hot wheels or something square nail could have been part of a frame of some sort it's got that nice gentle curve to it uh, this was interesting this um if i can get my cat off the paper thank you was um a measuring spoon back in the late 20s around 1929 ish is when this was established late 20s early 30s you had a liquid based plant food this was plant marvel measuring spoon you would put this much in one quart this much in one gallon to make plant fertilizer. So a little part of history, this, this measuring spoon was in some of the fertilizer that started off the modern, like your miracle grow uh, and things like that. So pretty interesting. Uh, still don't know what this is for sure. If you look real closely at it though, if the camera will focus, see like the crusted edge ignore the cat hair um good grief um you can see like right here where my finger tip is you can you can see the lip of a coin but you see that clad center and outer so i think that's just a zinc penny that got squished i don't know if somebody hammered it to pieces or what the heck happened to it but that's something else um, some coins that wanted to get older, had some older pennies, some older dimes, so 42C Canadian, the cat's trying to eat my pen, is it bothering you, are you hunting it, goofy cat, um, got myself a 46, uh, Rosie, this is that silver ring. I just glued that piece back onto it. And she's running off with the pin. Okay. Like I said, goofy cat. But it does say sterling inside. Right there. Come on, focus for me. So, it is silver. Just a part of a silver ring must have been uh, hit by the mower. Uh, and all these buttons. Some really cool, interesting buttons. I've never found a place that had so many of these little buttons in one spot. All kinds of varieties, but they're older buttons. And I'm going to skip over to this one. This one's cool because it had... The thread still in it. It's a very heavy button, like a solid brass. Love the. You can hear it when it hits. Such a small thing makes a loud sound. This was interesting, though. This is a Scoville button, uh, or actually not a button, a snap. This, uh, the front of it says Scoville, and the back says Gripper. This is a snap fastener made by the Scoville company back in the 1950s. 
So I think that's somewhere near the time frame when snaps were first like invented. Uh, so that's really cool. And this little snap to be such a tiny little thing is a piece of our history. So that's really cool to find. I'd like to find something 1700s, but I'll take it. Uh, and part of a ring, and I did search around that area for the rest of it, did not find it. Um, and the measuring spoon. So I got a couple of things uh, that allowed me to learn a little about the history of things. And I love doing that. I love learning about the history, how things came to be, stuff like that. So... Um, I think it was a good day then. So there's, there's always opportunities no matter where you go to learn something. So get out there, do your exploring, learn something today, and uh, let me know what you're learning. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. I have to get ready to go to work. It's early in the morning, and um, I gotta head out. So I'll see you guys later.